Did you know about the Yalisu Dam, a hydroelectric plant in Turkey that cost $1.7 billion to build? This powerhouse has the capacity of a small nuclear reactor, significantly boosting the local economy. However, its construction stirred up so much controversy that it led to international boycotts. The dam lost all its international funding and even faced an armed attack. Despite these challenges, the construction was ultimately completed successfully, and the dam has been fully operational for three years now. Let's dive into the fascinating story behind the Yalisu Dam. Located in southeastern Turkey near the Syrian border, it sits on the historic Tigris River, the birthplace of the ancient Mesopotamian civilization. Covering over 100 kilometers of the river and its tributaries, the dam has created a reservoir equivalent in size to the entire country of Malta, standing at 135 meters tall and spanning almost two kilometers wide, it ranks among the largest dams in Turkey, comparable to the massive Atatürk Dam. Join us as we explore why the Alusu Dam was constructed, unravel the controversies surrounding its development, and carefully examine its lasting impact on the region. Why was the Alusu Dam built? The need for a massive structure like the Alusu Dam is deeply rooted in the ambitious Southeastern Anatolia Project, SAP a colossal undertaking with an estimated cost of around $32 billion. The origins of this project can be traced back to a time, well before World War II, when the pressing challenge was ensuring an adequate supply of electrical energy, particularly in the southeastern region of Turkey. To address this energy deficiency, the Turkish government embarked on a comprehensive survey of the two main rivers in the region, the Euphrates and the Tigris, to identify suitable locations for hydroelectric plants. Over the years, they selected multiple sites, consolidating them under the overarching SAP initiative. The cumulative efforts have resulted in the construction of 22 dams and 19 power plants, boasting a combined capacity of 27 GIGAL, sufficient to meet the energy needs of nearly 10 million households. Beyond electricity generation, these dams play a crucial role in regional irrigation, significantly impacting agriculture. The stored water can be released strategically to irrigate arid lands, transforming them into fertile zones. This has led to a remarkable increase in local cotton production, nearly tripling between 1991 and 2001. While some of these dams date back to the 1980s and 1990s, the Alusu Dam represents one of the newer additions to the SAP portfolio, with construction commencing in 2006. The significance of this dam lies not only in its contribution to electricity and agriculture, but also in the complexities and challenges faced during its development. This sets the stage for the subsequent chapters in the story of the Ilisu Dam. Construction Process The construction of the dam didn't go as smoothly as expected. It was supposed to be finished in 2016, but there were several delays. The first hiccup happened because of money problems. Initially, the plan was to get funding from various European agencies. However, two years into the construction, this funding was stopped. Why? Well, remember how we talked about the Tigris River being historically important? Just 60 kilometers upstream of the dam is the ancient town of Hassan Kief, with archaeological sites dating back over 10,000 years. As the dam's reservoir would fill up, a big part of the town would be underwater. Everything from beautiful mosques and Islamic tombs to cave churches would end up submerged. And it wasn't just Hassan Kief. Nearly 200 villages in the area would be affected, and about 80,000 people would have to move. This caused a lot of international controversy. Environmental and human rights groups pushed the European agencies to stop funding the dam. So the Turkish government had to use its own money to finish the project. In 2010, they got a loan from a local bank and construction resumed. The second major delay came in 2014, when the construction site was attacked by a political organization called the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK. The Kurds make up about 20% of Turkey's population, and some want their independent Kurdish state. The PKK is one of the groups pushing for that, and they've conflicted with the Turkish government for a long time, often turning violent, because the Southeast Anatolia Project, SAP, where the dam is located, directly impacts the Kurds. The PKK claimed the dam was built for security reasons, limiting their movement. They launched several attacks on various dams, including the Ilisu, which led to the construction being paused for months. Finally, in 2018, after overcoming all these challenges, the dam was finished. However, Iraq, a country downstream of the Tigris, was facing water shortages at the time. 
so they had to delay filling the reservoir for another year. In 2020, the project was completed, and the dam's power plant started generating electricity. With six huge turbines, it turns the water pressure into electrical power, producing about 3.8 GW annually. That's enough to power around 1.3 million households in the area. The Impact of the Ilisu Dam Now, let's talk about the impact of the Ilisu Dam. First, the positive side. The dam makes a big contribution to the national grid, providing a substantial amount of clean energy. This is great because it reduces the country's dependence on fossil fuels. It also has economic benefits for the region. Controlled water release from the dam helps with irrigation, turning dry lands into fertile areas for agriculture. This boosts the local economy by increasing crop production. The dam has also created many job opportunities, both in the power plant and the agricultural sectors. Now let's look at the controversies and negative effects of the dam. Firstly, it cost a whopping $1.7 billion to build, mainly because international funding was lost. Then there's the impact on Hassenkief, an ancient town. Efforts were made to document archaeological sites, and some structures were carefully moved to a new historical park called New Hassenkief. However, parts of the original town were still submerged, causing significant cultural loss. Besides the financial and cultural costs, there are substantial human and environmental impacts. Tens of thousands of people were forced to leave their homes, either moving to higher ground or somewhere else entirely. Concerns also arise about the dam's impact on regional biodiversity, endangering local species. It's not just the local region affected negatively. Downstream countries like Syria and Iraq are concerned about reduced water flow in the Tigris River, vital for communities and agriculture. Considering this complicated story, it's challenging to determine the project's overall success. On one hand, the economic impact, green power generation, and regional irrigation are positive aspects. On the other hand, displacing tens of thousands of people and submerging significant archaeological sites raise serious concerns. Many criticize the authorities for pushing the project forward despite its high cost, arguing that alternative solutions like solar and wind power could have been explored. The dam remains a controversial subject, with different opinions on its benefits versus negative impacts. Some locals support the project, wanting the region to develop like the rest of the world, while others criticize it. What are your thoughts? Do the benefits outweigh the negative impact, or do you think the dam shouldn't have been built at all? Share your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.